um, just thought I'd do you a quick video just to show you what I've been up to uh, recently. So for about the last month or so I've been refurbishing this mast that's behind me. It's uh, 12 meters, it's pneumatic and it's made by the company Hilo and I was given it by a, a good amateur radio friend of mine uh, in a bit of a state but it needed uh, some love and attention. Um, so I've replaced all the seals, I've um, stripped it all completely down, cleaned it all in petrol, um, had to get uh, one of the sections remade because it was uh, buckled, um, tapped some new holes f at the bottom for the, uh, the bolts, um, and, uh, and yeah, so I've got it on these TK brackets um, on the side of the garage. And, uh, and the idea is that um, at least what it does is it allows me to have the cobweb at a decent height, i.e. 10-12 metres, when I'm using it. And when I'm not using it, it literally lies flat on the ridge tiles of the, the garage roof. So let's take a look at it and let's see how it works. Here's the base of the pole anyway, and um, you'll see that on this side there's a connection which is what I've got this uh, this little tyre compressor plugged into and on the other side you may just about be able to see it there's like a, a drain hole and what you do is you open up that drain hole to let the air out uh, basically to bring the mass back down so it's a very very simple task connect the air compressor to the 12 volt supply turn it on and then the mast goes up. Okay so what I've done is I've stuck these TK brackets on and I've stuck some hose pipe around here as well which just enables me to spin the mast if I did want to stick a directional antenna on there. Uh, each section is approximately two meters in length which means that fully extended it goes up to around about 12 meters can lock off each section as well so as you can see in order to take um, the cobweb over the top of the the uh, the peak of the roof of the garage I have to lock off that top section to make sure it doesn't come down anymore whether it was economical to bring back to life still remains to be seen but uh, I'm pleased with it bank managers not so we've got the 12 volt battery out here as well. Let's turn it on. So clearly I have to be mindful that I've got neighbours and uh, so I'll always bring the antenna down when I'm not using it and it will be down more than it's up. Anyway, if you're watching the video and you enjoy it, then please why not consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to click that little bell button and then you'll get notified about any new releases. So as you can see, it's going up quite rapidly. Um, obviously this is sped up considerably, um, but you'll get a really good idea about how quickly it goes up just under low pressure from this, this tire inflator. And this is it now coming down just by letting the air out of that uh, release valve. So as I say, if you like amateur radio videos, then why not take a trip over to the main YouTube channel and you'll see a few hundred videos on there that I've put on over the last few years. And again, please don't forget to subscribe. It does uh, keep me interested in making new videos. Really looking forward to uh, being able to test the cobweb at its new altitude. Um, I'm only around about 45 meters ASL here. Uh, so adding another few meters um, hopefully will help. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Take care for now. Stay safe. Seven free. Bye bye.